We're only a few short hours away from the opening bell, and BKFC's Mike Perry isn't an all too familiar spot. He's had some intense moments this week with his opponent, Jake Paul. And what a week it has been. From press conferences to the final win, the tension has been electric. The big difference this time is that Perry won't be taking his gloves off. Instead, he'll be putting them on. It's Jake Paul versus Mike Perry at MVP's Fear No Man. And Bare Knuckle News is here to bring you all the exclusive coverage. the fighters we spoke to had their own opinions about this epic fight and share them with Bare Knuckle News. Um, you know, Mike Perry and Jake Paul, Bare Knuckle, Mike Perry every time. Um, boxing, boxing is different. I truly believe that Bare Knuckle has the biggest dogs on planet Earth. Uh, Mike Perry has proven that he is a dog in Bare Knuckle, so I do believe uh, he's going to beat Jake Paul. I give Mike the edge. Mike is the tank. I sparred Mike before. Mike does not feel pain. Once you throw gloves on some of these guys that do bare knuckle or that do MMA, they look a little funny throwing punches. Uh, Jay Paul will win that fight uh, on just pure boxing ability, you know. I'm gonna go with home team. I'm gonna go with Mike Perry for this. It will be it will be a tough fight for Mike because Jake Paul is a little bit bigger, so it could be anybody. But I I don't see Mike winning. For Perry and Paul, emotions ran high all week. You could actually feel the electricity in the air as it got closer and closer to this blockbuster fight. At the open workouts, Jake Paul's group of pranksters found out the hard way that the king of violence also has a few tricks up his sleeve and pulled some pranks on his own. Yo, Mike. I think you got a friend. You got a friend in here? And the co-main event is also packing a big punch with Amanda, the real deal Serrano, taking on local fan favorite Stevie Morgan. Expect fireworks in this match. You know, I'm confident because I know how hard I work for this. You're going to make it happen. I'm going to make it happen. She says she's coming. We'll see. I've heard a lot of girls say the same thing, but um, I'm ready. You guys, your fans, you're the ones who are in for a good treat this night. At this week's press conference, Paul and Perry carefully sized each other up, knowing now they only have a short wait until one warrior will have his hand raised in victory. Here they are, face to face, one more time. The final face-off between Jake Paul and Mike Perry at the Friday night weigh-ins was nothing short of electrifying. This was no ordinary stare down fight fans. It was a declaration of war, a promise of the explosive battle to come. This was a clash of the titans, a moment that would be etched into the memories of all who witnessed it forever. But as the final bell tolls, only one warrior stands alone with his arm raised high. With sweat dripping off his battered and bruised body, he takes a moment to smile at the roaring crowd, basking in their adoration as he savors his hard-fought triumph. In this moment, he is invincible, his spirit unbroken, and his will unshaken. This is the sweet taste of victory in the brutal and beautiful world of boxing. Will the King of Violence continue his historic run, or will he fall to Jake Paul? Find out with us on Saturday night as we recap this historic event. For Bare Knuckle News, I'm Susan Singori.